What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the <clears throat> the super tidy Figma plugin. Uh, pretty pretty good tool if you like to tidy up and uh, add a consistent naming convention to your layers if you like to if you'd like that naming convention to be uh, a set of numbers and not only that uh, also be able to utilize the reordering and the reordering function allows you to reorder everything you have selected and it reorders it in the layers panel and by reorder I mean it moves everything that you uh, have selected and and reordered will just move to the top of the layers panel so uh, without any further ado let's get started uh, if you haven't installed this plugin the links already in the description for you so uh, you can click on that there or just access it via the plugins on in Figma and uh, yeah so uh, I got this demo file here you guys can duplicate it and use it so uh, when you all you got to do is uh, select the file you will have view only access and click duplicate and then go into your your recents and uh, open it from there so without any further ado let's get started so one thing we can do with this plugin is that notice I have this these these uh, mock-ups here labeled first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh uh, we can we can fix that we can fix the reordering of this and by that I mean uh, if we fix the reordering of this I'm actually going to duplicate this so you can see the functionality one by one and then see what it does when it runs it all at once um, I think a granular approach gives you a better understanding of how it's all built together when running at once so uh, if we have all this selected and we go to um, we go to our plugin right click go to plugins and click super tidy and select rename you'll notice the renaming of all the selected plug uh, layers and the bottom left window pane. So I click rename. They all change from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. For all starting that numbering convention from left to right in that order. And then if we go to plugins, super tidy, and click reorder, it'll move all of these to the top and then organize the layers as well. Because if we undo, you'll see that all the numbering starts at 6, goes jumps to 1, I'm tabbing through the layers panel and you'll notice that the ordering is not consistent so what we did was we I'm gonna keep on doing here we uh, we first renamed it first we renamed it renamed it now we're gonna reorder it so it's gonna move all of the layers to the top of the layers panel and have them all organized so in my layers panel if I hit tab I can just tab through them in order which is great um, and then if I have them all selected and I go to plugins super tidy and select tidy boom you have that it's, it's nice and evenly spaced and then you can adjust it from there to your liking so that is the power of the tidy plugin I will show you some little I'll show you all of this at once so everything I just walked you through we're gonna do again with this duplicate set I'm gonna plug in super tidy run all and then you're gonna get this modal and it says super tidy will reposition and align all your select frames with the given spacing options in a grid format. It will also reorder your layer list and optionally perform row-based renaming, which is great. Um, you can add, apply spacing options on the X and Y axis if, if you'd like. Well, actually, these are the default parameters, so all you can do is really apply to the selection. Um, for some reason, that did not work. I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna click run all. I'm gonna click apply selection and there you go. Um, we have all of the layers or in order from zero through six. Um, if we go back uh, go back to run all and select that model, you'll have the ability to toggle renaming on and off. So if I go in and you can change the parameters, my plugin just froze in the previous instance. So sorry about that. It's just my computer and performance issues. Um, you can reduce this width spacing to 80 if you want to or whatever. So I'm going to click apply selection and it reduced to 80. And if I go back, go to plugins and select super tidy and run all again, get that modal, I can change the Y axis as well. But that's if I had duplicates below, but I don't, so that doesn't matter. Um, and then the renaming you could turn off if you had another set of uh, another set of duplicates that you'd like to not rename, but uh, apply like a width, tidy width to it, if that makes sense. All right, so we have that. I'm going to undo that, keep that there for you guys. And one thing I noticed too is if you try and organize these icons, I have these icons from the Material Design Icons plugin. I have them all in a frame. And I notice when I try to select all of these icons and I go to the plugin and I try to rename them, it doesn't rename them um, within this parent. If they're within a parent frame, 
um, and neither does it do any of the following uh, that the plugin has to offer. Um, reorder, doesn't reorder, and it doesn't tidy either. But what it does do to fix this issue, um, I created a duplicate set, but you could also just ungroup this. Um, but I'm just going to select this set right here. All of these are frames. And if I click on plugins, super tidy, I could go one by one, get them to rename, reorder, and then tidy up. Um, but I'm just going to run them all at once. Um, I want the renaming options. Uh, the spacing of 100 width is good for me. I'm in 200 on the Y axis. I'm going to click apply to selection. And you'll notice that it, uh, it has all of the frames selected. The icons are now organized. And there is a spacing of 200 on the Y axis here, right there. We can shorten that if we want to. And then the width is set to 100, just like we specified in the plugin. And uh, yeah, for some reason, you can't do that when all this content is within the parent frame. And I'm sure it's for good reason. I just don't know. Just uh, heads up. And that is how you utilize the super tidy Figma plugin. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment in the comments section below. Uh, otherwise, uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.